Hello and welcome to This Week in the Wild. Today I'll be reacting to Parrot falls into a cup of hot chocolate when trying to taste it, the alarming trend of bears on train tracks, why you should never approach a bison, followed by bison headbutt knockdown, and lastly, incredible footage of an eagle flying away with a full grown deer. In this video, a parrot falls into a cup of hot chocolate when trying to taste it. This little guy, sitting on the rim of a delicious cup of hot chocolate, took an unexpected plunge into the chocolatey goodness as Polly was trying to take a sip. Or perhaps the foam on top of the cup deceived our little parrot friend into thinking the surface is firmer than it looks. The reason for this remains a mystery. The real question is, would you still drink the hot chocolate if a bird fell in it? And would the hot chocolate taste like bird? I must say, the parrot seems quite pleased with himself. The alarming trend of bears on train tracks. The boss is a massive grizzly bear, an inhabitant of Banff National Park, who is notorious for having been hit by a train and survived. But why was he on the tracks in the first place? Between 2008 and 2023, 63 bears were killed by trains on the BNSF railway alone, which is the largest freight railroad in the USA. This phenomenon has become increasingly concerning for the conservationists and wildlife rangers alike. First off, who is the notorious The Boss? Also known as Banff Bear 122, this grizzly weighs an estimated 650 to 700 pounds, which is much greater than the male grizzly average of 600 pounds. He may he first made headlines after having survived a collision with a train, then again when he was spotted cannibalizing the remains of a black bear. Furthermore, DNA testing by Banff National Park, wildlife officials has revealed that the boss have fathered at least five cubs in the area. Perhaps the Rambo of bears, this grizzly is most certainly a legend. Unfortunately, not all bears have shared the same fate as the boss. Bears are often attracted to railway tracks due to various food sources available in these areas. Sp spilled grain from cargo trains, palatable plants and roadkill from the train tracks who have been killed by trains attract hungry bears. There is some evidence that the recent increase in the local wolf population has caused greater competition for food between predator species. Thus, bears are driven to search for food in more dangerous areas such as along the train tracks. Despite the incredible nature of the boss's story, it serves to remind us of the threat humans pose to animals, even in their natural habitats. Hopefully, conservation efforts are successful in allowing animals to better live undisturbed by human activity. Look at this incredible footage of an eagle flying away with a full-grown deer. The video captures a majestic eagle soaring through the sky, clutching its prey, a full-grown deer. Despite the significant size of the deer, the eagle still manages to soar in the sky. If you ever doubted the strength this majestic bird's embodies, this will change your mind forever. The eagle's successful hunt is not only a display of its predatory skills, but also a reflection of the harsh realities faced by animals in the wild. Eagles are renowned for their impressive strength, especially when it comes to their ability to carry heavy loads. On average, an eagle can, can lift approximately half its body weight. For larger species like the bald eagle, this means carrying loads of up to 4 to 5 pounds. However, the eagle depicted in the video demonstrates a feat far beyond the typical, showcasing an exceptional strength that allows it to transport prey significantly larger. Here are some of the top comments on the video. This happens more than you think. The eagle uses its momentum to swoop down and pick up goats and wild deers on the highlands and mountains. Another person says, there are other videos of this scene from other angles. The animal looks more like a goat. It also would make sense to find a goat on the mountain, whereas deers tend to really enjoy skiing and uh, whereas deers tend to not really enjoy skiing and snowboarding and therefore tend to avoid climbing mountains. Another person said, yeah, that don't look fake, lol. Make of this comment what you will. Why you should never approach a bison and 
bison headbutt knockdown. The bison bull is peacefully strolling through Yellowstone National Park traffic, minding his own business when out of nowhere a macho guy approaches and starts to mock the bison. The guy thinks he is the bull of the woods, but the bison knows he's at the top of the food chain, and with a short acceleration in the direction of the guy, he engraved into the mind of the guy a powerful fear of bison. Now he's mad. Now he's gonna be mad. <laughs> On a different day, with a different crowd, some construction workers take turns petting a bison, and one of them gets a nasty headbutt. It's very cool to film yourself petting wild animals. It's a brave thing to do. But in this case, let this be a lesson to everyone to appreciate these fluffy giants from a distance, please. Thank you for watching This Week in the Wild, where I react to our top 5 best performing articles on our Animals Around the Globe website, which is also where you can read these articles. Oh, and remember to like and subscribe.